That's a cool loading screen. <laughs> no. What is this game uh, that you are about to So this play? is Muppet Race Mania. This is like a, a racing game based on the first... Uh, I can actually check it. It's on... What is it? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. First six Muppets movies. So you got Muppets from Space, Muppets Treasure Island, Muppet Christmas Carol, Muppet Takes Manhattan, Muppet Caper, and the Muppet movie. Um, I guess we'll just dill around for now. Um, what am I thinking of? So yeah, it features, like... You what? I was gonna do that, I was gonna pre-skip all the cutscenes, but then I thought I can just, I'll switch the categories around and I can just do it in this and it's easier. Um, I guess I'll just start because there's no reason not to. Um, so yeah, this is a game, like an official game based on the first Muppet movies. Um, and the goal is categories to collect all of the Muppets in the game. We collect all of them but one, and I guess I'll explain why it's but one later on. Um, so a big part of this game is you basically go into what they call adventure mode, which is um, where you can collect basically stuff and free room and explore the tracks. Um, oh my god, I'm already so unlucky. Um, then you want to find them up on each of the tracks and then you have to race them and beat them. So this first guy, Floyd, is the hardest by a goddamn mile to beat. All the others are completely free. Because so we start off with Kermit. Um, you start off with like eight Muppets unlocked and Kermit has the best car out of all of them. And Floyd has the best car, hence we want to unlock him first. Um, but he can be like a prick, it's almost completely RNG, like this is RNG the video game basically for time save. Um, what the hell was that um, so yeah, so the uh, main parts of this game probably is that there's fruit which you used to collect which is in the beaker in the top right. Once you fill that bar, you get an um, opportunity to use a special move. There's the move which... <laughs> there's a the move which um, gives you a super boost which is um, primarily used in this run and the other move... Um, Kind of pranks all the other Muppets, but that's kind of uh, useless. We don't want to slow them down, we want to speed ourselves up. Um, um, there's also the stars which use items. There's four items in the game. There's um, there's a chicken, which is kind of like a kind of homing item that um, like bounces off walls and goes into a... Uh, homes in on enemies, sort of. It's like really unpredictable, but it's really annoying if you hear it from behind. <laughs> Um, that's what the super move is, so you can either use that, or you can use the, um... Oh, I got unlucky there. No, it's all auto. Yeah, um... Or you can use the prank, which basically, like, it, you know, if something will happen, either you, like, be put on a lily pad and you'll be stuck, or you get, like, a pair of glasses and you'll be stuck, or you'll be stuck on gum. Something like that, um... So the four items, there's the chicken, there's the bomb which bounces around. That's freaking annoying. Um... This is like not going as intended, but it's like, a, as I said, stupid inconsistent race. As long as you win, right? Well, I'll try. <laughs> so as, as I said, as after this, win, it's like free. Right? Um, yeah. And there's the penguin. The penguin is the worst because it flies behind you. So in a race, it's okay, but often we want to like destroy store doors and stuff. Um, so penguin is worse. You won the race, so it's fine. Um, and before I got a double penguin at the start, which is one in eight chance, which is like, you basically have to turn around and fire it through the door, which is super annoying. Um, so we got the first Muppet, um, now we move on to the stunt section, there's also a Muppet in each of the stunts. Um, this is where a big part of RNG comes on, because in each track you spawn in a random spot when you go in an adventure, and this is relevant in the stunts because there's only one spawn we really want. Um, all the other stunts, uh, all the other spawns are way too far away to like, um, be worthy, I guess, driving from. Um, <laughs> alright, so this is spawn one, so that was alright. Generally you get it in the first couple, but you can be for like 20, 30 tries if you're super unlucky. Um, and it's also very relevant because there's cycles in a lot of these, and that's bad, but whatever. Um, there's cycles in a lot of these in the background that go on, so you could like miss a cycle and have to wait you know, like another 30 seconds or whatever, so it's super reset heavy to actually get a run going. And of course each run you have to re-beat Floyd, which is super annoying, so... Um, yeah. So this first guy we're getting in this done is Scooter. He's kind of just sitting back there doing whatever. Um, See, so yeah, we get Floyd because his car, it's not so much the Muppet, the Muppets themselves like don't um, give any sort of power or speed or um, uh, like anything in the game. Um, the only thing it's slightly relevant in is one level in 100% where there's a hole you need to use a small Muppet to get into, but that's the only place in the whole game where the actual Muppet like matters in terms of a speed or anything, I guess. Um, but the cars themselves, Floyd has the fastest top speed of any car. Um, we used to think it was a tie with um, Zoot, but we tested and he has slightly higher top speed than Zoot. Zoot's car has very good handling, which we actually use for one track in this run, and one that has a... It's an intended shortcut, but it's like very tight and twisty, so we use his car to uh, get through there. So this is what I'm talking about with the RNG, it's like we're literally just menuing until we get the spawn. 
and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, it's quite fun. Um, so yeah, we'll switch to Floyd when we get to the rooftop stunt, which is the one after this one. Um, but for now we still use Kermit because there's lots of tight turns we're taking these stunts, and with Floyd it's like, there's no point to switch yet. Um, so yeah, we're getting like stupid unlucky, but there's literally nothing you can do. You just sit here and I guess laugh it off, I don't know. Yeah, they all have the same probability. Um, there's one... Hey, it's this one that we want. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I generally do that, but... Um, I've never, I guess, pre-retired or retired early or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take my time here because, of course, like, I've been here for a while. I'm unfamiliar with the cycles. Like, I know the optimal cycles, but... Um, I'll just go slow here so I don't fall down and stuff. Oh, I'm good at video games, dude. <laughs> also, yeah, the soundtrack to this level is the like best video game track ever. This is just good to jam to, I don't know. Oh, alright, it's fine. I'll take it really slow, because, yeah, I don't want to be stuck. Um. <clears throat> top of the screen oh yeah that's um in the stunts that's like a progress screen um but in this uh i got double penguin again this is so unlucky um so in the stunt adventures it's just like a, a straight line um and in each of the adventures i guess um there's multiple things to collect there's um all the stars there's all the fruit there's all the tokens and the things up top that are flashing those are the tokens they kind of hint where they are they're sometimes hidden behind a box or um like a lever or something um, but it's just to show you where they are to help you out. All well, the fruit and all that's generally in a spot you can find. Um, and then the other character up there, you got the Muppet. Um, she knows the Muppet. And the other character is Dooza. Dooza is the one Muppet we don't get, because Dooza's method of um, getting him is completely different to all the other Muppets. Um, in uh, every track in the game, the, um, Dooza's scattered somewhere in the level, and his portal is also scattered somewhere, and the goal is to push him into the portal on every track, and then you unlock him. So, because it's like completely different from everything else, we just excluded him from the category. Um, well, we do do him in 100. <laughs> All Muppets, but fuck that one in particular. Yeah. Um, so this is where we switch to um, Floyd for the majority of the run. I don't think this is... Yeah. <laughs> You think they can fall off? <laughs> yeah, might a shout out to our Cyber Demon for getting motivated to play this game. Of all people. Right. So yeah, once again, we're just hoping for the spawn. Um, and some tracks I kind of use like a visual cue, like when he first loads in. Um, but in this one in particular, I use the top bar because a lot of the spawns look quite the same. So I basically look to the right, and if I see his um, face like nearest to the right, then I know that I'm in the right spawn and I can go. Um, so there's different visual cues you can use for each um, level. It's also like icy here, which is like stupidly hard to drive on, so that's probably why I'm slamming into everything. Um, which is not like being funny. How good is this game? Yeah, your answer. Yeah, <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I don't mind it. I played a buttload of it as a kid, so. And now we get to Mountain. Mountain has two spawns, which are really nice. Both of them are near the end. One's about probably six, seven seconds faster than the other, but we still like, we still take it, because yeah. Um, oh nice, we got the best spawn. This is like, um, right near, um, Sam, I think his name is, yeah, it's based off, like, Uncle Sam. What do you the estimate for this game to get? Um, I mean, like, the estimate. Uh, is it the intended, or? Estimate. For the run, oh yeah, I'm retarded, oh, sorry. Um, it's 30 minutes, um, oh. it's probably gonna be much less than that, um, well, I don't really know, it depends. Um, I mean, they just said it that, because I said, like, the first fight, uh, first fight the first race you can somewhat easily lose so just in case i put that there um aside from that it's like the rng and all that um, record i don't fully know to be honest i don't um play this category a lot but it's quite a good marathon category hence why i'm doing it i know kevin here free has it um if someone could look it up that would be great but it's like yeah the one thing i don't know but it is at a point where it's like almost purely down to rng um Cause there are some tricks and skips, but they're relatively easy to do. It's probably the hardest stunt to do, just because of this section at the end is somewhat hard to do to get over, but I did it fine. Cause you can get clipped on the wall, or you can like, you know, miss a jump and fall down. Um, lose all the stunts out the way. I accidentally clicked on him. There you go. Um, 
So now we go back to the races. So this one's Cape Doom. This has a jump we call Cape Doom Skip, which is kind of... It's very clunky how it works. There's like... You can do it a slow way, but it still works. Um, oh my god. But you can get a really fast way. It's also here, once again, where we don't really care about where we spawn, because all the spawns... Um, they don't lose lots of each other, so of course we want the optimal spawn, because that means we get them up as fast as we can, but it's not like a big deal if we um, spawn a couple of seconds away. Um, I should also mention this thing at the start, it's kind of like a button mini game where you gotta press the mun but muttons. buttons to get boosts at the start. Um, yeah. The more boosts the better, aside from one track, we don't want to get any boosts, but I'll explain when we get there. Um, Remind the pose of Pepe. So this is like, kind of Cape Doom, yeah, that was alright, that was Cape Doom skip. You basically want to try ride that wall as you can, and it skips a, um, lighthouse section. You can fall in the water and turn around and still climb up the wall, but then like, you fall in the water so it's slow. Um, I've been kind of looking for a consistent setup for it, and I'm nearly there, but it's still like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, um, what am I saying? Collision in this game is pretty funky. Walls on that often you can just get stuck in them, or they can push you out, or you can, yeah, just do funky things with them. Like, sometimes you'll just, like, clip straight up there, or it'll boost you into the air. It's like, there's a little consistency to it. But yeah. As I said before, from like now on, all these races are like completely free to win. It's like near impossible to lose them. Um, so we're well right now, we're like almost overlapping um, Pepe. Just because we have the fast car and strats and all that, rather than versing the fastest car with like a mod mode car. So that's what I was saying about falling in the water. Um, so you can still get up, but it's not as fast. But it's still faster than um, the intended, I guess. Yeah, loading screens are quite good, there's a lot of them. I think I actually have a... I pay them. <laughs> a bit about that on trivia, I don't remember what it is, it's on the sheet. Hey, hey Mart, find the sheet. <laughs> there's one about like the load screens, I don't know. No, no, I think it's on the second page. I think. I think there's like four Muppets which don't have their own load screen. And I had it on a fact sheet that I printed out for some reason, but uh, it's on there. So generally anything 25 or above is like, like acceptable in this. Like you're not gonna get much higher than that realistically. Um, and like there are probably some people which are really good at it, but if you're just like a general runner wanting to know what's an okay, then you get, um, you can get that. That's a nice fish. Um, so yeah, this is kind of an intended shortcut we do just to go through the event. Um, if we got a penguin there, that would have screwed us over because we'd have to go around the lap and try it again. Um, instead, we didn't get a penguin, so we just go through. Um, and it saves a decent amount of time. It's kind of a wiggly section back there you can see on the mini map, which we don't have to go through. We also don't have to deal with the um, the air current, I guess. I'm trying to get up that section. If we time it right, you can let off the accelerator for about half a second and then continue, and um, it will drop you into that uh, little hole vent thing. Um, but it's rather precise, and sometimes you'll just like miss it, but then you'll just get it on the way up. But it does save a little bit. Um, let's see if I can get it this lap. Um, the boost here is also kind of relevant. There's nowhere near enough to use the super boost, so we kind of just... There you go. We just use it like... Whenever. <laughs> just when there's a straight line, basically. There's no um, reason to use it in the air or whatever. And we, uh, we actually almost overlap. Wait, wait there. Doc. So Doc's unique in the sense that um, we don't want to get any super boost here because there's a shortcut straight to the left that we just head down because um, there's a kind of set boost path we want to go through. We want to use optimally two super boosts on this track, um, both at the same spot on lap two and lap three. Um, we go left because that has boost at the start uh, just there and also uh, use it to get through some water which skips a, like a kind of just the longer part of the track. So basically here we just um, hold down the handbrake and spin to the left down here. Um, and there's a decently high chance because there's um, all the fruit in this track is kind of in straight lines so there's a very high chance, not very high, there's a chance I should say that um, Link will use his special power on us which can be annoying because it turns you into an ice block and you slide around. Um, it's one of the more annoying ones, it's unlike the most common track to get hit by a super move. Um, we may get lucky and he may use his own super boost. It's almost 
there may be some way to manipulate it, but I think it's pretty much random whether they either like eke out their boost through the track and don't use a super move, or if they use the super boost or if they use um, special power. But that's the spot just there after we get that line um, next to the finish line where we want to use it. Um, and if we collect like yeah, every fruit we can, I think. I don't, I don't know how lean it is. I don't think it's like lean all. If we get every fruit, we should be able to do it again. Um, so I just gotta kind of try lining up as best I can. We may have enough, we may be one off. Um. Oh yeah, we're one off, but that's alright. Um, still get the point of it. Um. There's also a 50-50 chance there that the boost can take you through the boat, or it can take you to the right. We got lucky and it took us through the boat. Um. And we can kind of just use our boost here to get to the finish line, so no need to save it. Um, you know, to Treasure Island. So here we get Janus, which is. I think there's only. If I know my Muppets well, which I don't really. I think there's only two female playable characters in this game. There's Miss Piggy and there's Janus. Um, are there any cannibals Whoa. on this island? We can oh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, What are their names? Like, Waldorf and Statler, I think. I don't know. That's probably completely wrong. But the two old dudes, they crack a joke at the start of. um. Every one of these, uh, when you ever, uh, whenever you enter a level, they crack a jerk. Um, and there's like a series of them they can go through, and I like because I play this game a lot. I've like them all memorized. So, <laughs> especially in stunts, there's a couple which like, I don't know, they're just rattling through my head all day. Um, so this is like exactly the same as the others. We want to collect boost, get a super boost, win the race by a mile. Um, it's pretty much all just trying to do like optimal macro movement kind of stuff. Cutting bends as tight as you can and all that, really. And we can also do like a kind of little thing here where we just jump over that, which means we don't have to go around. It's very little, but it's still something. Especially this game's got like a really good soundtrack. <laughs> all the tracks are really good, I am. Yeah, we use the super boost. Um, and then you can get a super boost on the third lap, however, it still has a tiny bit left on it when you cross the finish line, which means we're basically losing out on boost, because the super boost compared to standard boost, um, it does boost you like slightly further, but because of the whole autopilot, it may be unoptimal, and so if it's not using, like, you may choose an optimal route, so if it's not using at all, it's often not worth going for. Um, it's just faster to manually use it yourself. Um, I think the next track, let me check before I comment on it, okay never mind, so this is Graveyard, this was the old track we used to go to first when we used Zoot, um, this is kind of like a meme going around where it's like, oh this is like the sad level because um, the main guy we used to use has been ditched for this new guy and we only use him in like one level. There's also a lot of debate with this um, track with what strats were fastest because there's like an outside section and inside section at the back here. And the outside section is shorter, however, um, there's like snow and stuff you need to boost through to stay quick. Um, there was a lot of debate with it until we found out from Ratchet5, one of his Let's Play videos, there's actually like an intended shortcut you can take that skips a lot of the track. Um, it's like way faster than any of our methods, and we just had no idea it existed, even though it's intended, until he called us out one day. He's like, why don't you guys do this straight in my Let's Play? And we are just like, oh my god, that's actually a thing, isn't it? So, yeah, shout out to Ratchet5. We wish you were here, bud. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll show off the strat here. So basically go up into this um, church. We hold reverse and mash the jump button. And there's a portal back here. That takes us into a room with a coffin. It's all the way down here. Which is, yeah. Quick and intended. But none of us knew about it. Like we never found it as kids aside from him. So it's pretty neat. And also stop the debate of what route was faster in terms of outside or inside. Mm -hmm. 
Then we go to old London town, I think. Yeah, this is the track that I probably should figure out because it's like one where it's very big and um hard to get around. So if you like get a bad spawn, it's better to like respawn a better in uh, like a more optimal area. But I haven't like explored it that much. This spawn isn't that bad, so I would have taken it normally. But you could like end on the absolute opposite of the map where the guy is because he's kind of tucked away. Um, it'd be really slow to try and get to him for a certain point. Uh, so I may like figure out one or two spawns to like, look out for visual cues and um, take another spawn from. So this track has like some minor tech, there's these um, surfaces there of ice and actually uh, we drive like slightly below top speed um, that we normally do on those pads so it's good to kind of save your boost and use it to like boost over those pads or on those pads. Um, it's a very small thing but it does save like you know little bits here and there. There's also a shortcut we take here, which skips a long section that um, is like all on slippery ice. And there's a barrel here which we take as another little shortcut, which is also, of course, as you probably tell, intended. Um, but it is quite a long track, and yeah, it's like things like that we want to boost over. Mm. It's the same kind of here, but we can use this to our advantage and kind of drift through to get all of the boost. So although it will be, um, if it was a straight line, it would be better to boost through it, but because the fact that the, uh, we want the fruit and it does um, give us a kind of drifty feeling, it makes it really easy to get all of the fruit on the curves, which is rather handy. Yeah, for, like fun, you can try and like get all three barrels by the end, just because why not? But yeah, once again, this race is like super free. You can also sometimes do that and you just go around here. It's not that bad, it is slightly slower, but yeah, all these races are super free to win. Um, it's mainly just trying to hope that you don't get um, screwed by RNG, especially in this track, because there's lots of things you want to destroy. If you get like a penguin in a lot of places, it just screws you over and you have to go like the long way for a lap. Um, and isn't, you've got like nothing that can really control that. Um, there's no map in the Central Park. Uh, there's a couple of tracks we don't have any, so we skip that. Um, so this is the track that we actually do use it in, because the fastest way is um, through the track, which you'll see is very <laughs> twisty and turny and all that. So we go down, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, this was the old guy we used. To, this was the old guy we used to use for like everything, and so we found it was slightly slower. Um, and then we race Sour Monkey. Yeah, he's pretty chill. 28, that's really good. Um, so this is the kind of thing I was talking about, we go through this section, which with Floyd is like, so hard to do, it's ridiculous. You just like, be riding all the walls. Um, but yeah, Zoot's only slightly slower, but his um, turning definitely makes up for it in this level. And I should, um, oh, we can sometimes turn a bit too much. If you grind this out a lot, you often get completely used to, um, Floyd's car and you forget what Zoots feels like because it handles very differently so you can like yeah, just through there for example I like turned way too much just because you very rarely use it. Same with Kermit at the start but if, yeah, if you're doing other categories you'll never use Kermit so trying to get used to him again is quite hard. Um, yeah, It's also another very short track that we win by a mile. Is this world record pace? Ah, uh, sure. We had like perfect RNG early on, right? So this is easy. Uh, and we go to Mallory Gallery. Mallory Gallery has like probably the skip of the game that's substantial. We call it Mallory Gallery skip. Um, Our original. Yeah, no, all these names are original. Um, uh, there you go, I'm good at menuing. Um, this is also another track where your spawn can matter a lot because the place is like goddamn massive. But this is a good spawn as long as I don't get. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, but it's basically a jump that allows us to skip like 15 seconds of the track per lap and we jump from kind of like a tree area into a portal area. Um, I'm usually quite good at it but I have no idea how I'll be at it today, but um, I'll try my best to get it at least once I guess. But this used to be like, before we really got into things, it was just like the trick that was like if you're a good runner or not, if you could do this trick. We also um, jump down these stairs which is a minor thing to do, which just saves a bit, because why not? So kind of want to collect a decent amount of boost here to 
go for the jump, um, which is coming up just here. The ramp itself can often be a bit dodgy, sometimes you can like, yeah there you go, that's oh. at the bottom. It's quite, <laughs> yeah. It looks quite simple, but sometimes the ramp you can like clip through, like clip through the edge of it and you'll get like no height out of it, or um, sometimes you just have your timing wrong, you don't um, jump at the right time, your angle is off so you go to the left or the right. Um, it's actually a lot easier with Floyd because in the air he turns, like if you have a setup for it, he kind of turns the perfect amount to land, but Zoot turns like very rapidly in the air, so it's very difficult to line it up with him, so that was kind of another positive side to uh, switching to Floyd. Yeah, that just made it. <laughs> so yeah, it is relatively free once you get it down, but when you're starting off, like, the trick is, like, it's stupid hard to get down if you don't really know a lot about it. Um, probably about 10-15 seconds per lap. So it's, yeah, super significant. Assuming there's a step or an independent way to get in there? Uh, it's not only useful in the race, it's used in adventure mode. Um, this map has like lots of nooks and crannies you can go in to collect like fruit and tokens and find doozer and all that. Um, yeah, there, there's a normal way, it's usually, uh, you, the place that I come at just there, there's a platform that leads up to it, but of course it doesn't help with the race because it means you're going backwards and it yeah. went like register you as completing the lap, so it's completely useless in the race, but it's a really good map in Hondo, there's like lots of in it, um, areas you don't really see. Um, then we get to the final place. Um, which is the swamp, which is where I'm pretty sure the first movie starts off because, you know, it's where Kermit is and stuff. Uh, that's actually the one spawn I do know of that I um, don't take just because it's in a log that's kind of like, um, it's like off to the side, it's in a secret area that's like not useful in the race, it's only useful in Hondo. Um, no, I'll just take slow to set it up. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so that's like the one place that I know of that I do. I'm playing well. <laughs> it's like the one place that I do know of, um, to change at just because, like, that wasn't intended, but okay. Just because, um, it would take way too long to drive around and all the spawns are, like, much better. Mm. Also, yeah, like, kind of, I used to call them squeeze proxies, are, like, super common in this. Um, do a couple of them in all stunts, I believe. And that was an example of one of them. Um, and yeah, this is very straightforward. It's probably the track I know best, just because myself and Kevin had a um, an IL wall for this track. We were grinding it out to try and get the best <laughs> single lap. So I kind of like know exactly the fruit pattern and where to jump on all that. What was it? You what? Ah, uh, I think I have it at the moment. It's on the leaderboard. Um, I'm pretty sure I had it last time I checked. But it was, yeah, it was pretty intense for a while. <laughs> and then, yeah, time is when I crossed the line here. On the last lap. And so, yeah, I should explain, but that's a common thing often when there's water surfaces, as you're slowing, you should save your boost, then use it through there so you can um, go through. And then, yeah, that's. That's all Muppets. Um, so yeah, I just gotta check. I got all the Muppets. It's just, you know, you gotta make sure you got them all. Except for, um, Doozer, of course. Yeah. And there he is, all alone, in the dark. Um, Let's go! Alright, now I gotta change... No, I don't gotta change anything, that's right. So we're going to do uh, all stunts now, which is a very different kind of character. I actually need... I think I can hold on, on. Let me. I'm gonna set a delay for this because it's very relevant, and I'll explain why. And I shouldn't won't be a problem. Um.